What is up guys? Welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another Say it with me guys Big top 10 list and yeah, that's a little bit different We're actually gonna do a top 10 list by request for the one plus five cases so these are the ones that I just picked out of the lineups that I've done and again this is all subjectable and debatable so we can have some fun with it in the comments section so if you guys don't agree with that you know put your top 10 list on there let me know what you guys think but these are the cases that I really like for the OnePlus 5 and again this is just all personal preference so we'll count it down from 10 to 1 and again we'll kind of just have a little bit of variety in here as well so number 10 this is actually just gonna be a bumper case the Rhino Shield bumper and I put this on my list because I think it works pretty well if you just have a skin or if you're looking for basically just a minimalist, nothing to it type case. That's just going to protect. It's going to give you some good lip protection. Nothing really for the back, but again, it does give you some decent coverage on the back as well. So it's going to protect that phone, especially if you got a skin on it and you don't plan on taking it off a lot. This may be the way to go. There's definitely some flaws with it. I do like the alert slider. Works out really well. Buttons are a little bit tough to click. Not as bad though if you don't have a skin on it. So overall, I would say this is number 10. Just because it's actually just a minimalist case that you know works with some skins. So keep that in mind. The pricing is pretty expensive on this one for what you're getting. So that's why I would put it at number 10. Let's go, we'll keep it moving, keep it moving. Number nine on my list, and this is for all the heavy hitters that need a, some extra protection. This is the OtterBox one. I got this one from the start. I'm not a big fan of huge cases or just, you know, extra protection cases because they add too much bulk. But I think this one deserves to be on the list because it actually is going to give you some rugged protection for the OnePlus 5. If you guys got a job and you guys go out to work and you're worried about dropping your phone, Look at that heavy duty lip protection. No worries there, it's covering edge to edge. Plus you got that hard back to it. So if you drop the phone, you're good to go. It looks pretty decent too with that black on black. Got the OtterBox logo. Texture's rugged. Got some crazy camera protection. The one thing I would say about this one, I wish it had a little more grip to the sides. This is actually just kind of a slippery material. Obviously, it's not that bad a deal if you're going to drop it because you got such a rugged case. But I would like it to have a little bit more texture to the actual sides. But we'll put that at number nine. And it is you know, a big boy case, so it's not going to be for everybody. But again, it's all subjectable to whatever you guys prefer. So the 10, 9, we'll go to number 8. This one, this is kind of under the radar. This is called J Goo. This is a multi layer case, but it's super thin. So it's got that textured you know rubber matte finish right there so it looks pretty nice and flexible but then you also get over that which is actually also textured and nice grip to it hard shell and it feels really compact so if you put that together when the first time i did this unboxing guys i couldn't even tell this is a two-part case because it's so thin so you're getting some really crazy protection. Sorry, I got my pug's hair right there. Got some crazy protection. Plus, look how thin this is. So you're getting some nice draw protection for the lip. Look at the lip. Good lip protection. And look how thin this is. You can't even really tell this is a two-part case. So I've actually come to really like this one. I was never a big fan of the two-tone buttons, but they're very clicky and responsive. And it does class it up just a little bit. Got some nice camera protection. And again, adds little bulk at all. Got a nice cutout for your alert slider. And it, the one thing I really like about that is that texture. And it's matte finish. It's not going to get all fingerprinted up. So I would say this is a definite hit if you guys want to check that out. I believe the price is pretty on point too. So we'll keep it moving. So that's 10, 9, 8. Let's keep it moving. Let's go to number seven. Now this case will be probably higher on the list, except the fact that you cannot really find a screen protector or too many screen protectors that are compatible with it. This one actually is gonna be the Spigen one. 
and I do like the way this one looks. It's got like that two-tone, it's got the bump around it. And this is one of my favorites from Spigen. So let's pop it on, this is the price. You know, we'll, we'll try to put these links up for you guys so if you wanna check it out on Amazon, put them on the, the big on box store so if you guys wanna check that out, see if it's something you guys are interested in, my picks. All right, so you're getting some nice lip protection all the way around the screen. Got that extra grip right here and a reinforced bumper all the way around the edges. Camera protection, nice. Not crazy deep, but pretty nice. Buttons are clicky, responsive. Alert slider, deep hole to get your finger in, no issues at all. You can see how much extra they cut out, so they did a nice job there. Ports are precise and look nice. And I like the way this one looks too. Let me know what you guys think about it. I just like the way this one looks. Now again, the, the problem with the speaking cases is they're not really compatible with all the screen protectors, especially the tempered glass ones, so keep that in mind, and that's probably why this one's a little bit further down on the list than what it should be. All right, but what can you say? So we'll take this one off, we'll keep it moving. This is a brand, the next one's coming up is a brand that I really started liking, especially with the OnePlus 5 cases, Tudia. And I didn't know much about this company until I started getting these OnePlus 5 cases for it. This one is the 2D Emerge, and it's a two-part case like that. So you got that harder out shell, outer shell, and then you got the, the rubber inside. But I really like the way this one feels, and it's compatible with more cases or more screen protectors than the Spigen ones, and plus you're getting some nice lip protection. You can see the lip protection all around the edges, and then it's a two-part case, so you're gonna get some nice drop protection pops right into place i just like the way that one looks you can tell it's going to add some bulk to it got like a two-tone look to it you can get different colors on this one to change it up i got the gray got a little just a little branding on it camera protection looks pretty decent look at that so nice buttons clicky responsive and it doesn't add a crazy amount of bulk considering it's a two-part case. So you're gonna get some nice drop protection for this one. And the price is pretty on point too. I believe the price is definitely right on this one. And again, I'll try to put the links up for these guys if you guys wanna check them out. So we'll keep it moving, keep it moving. So next on the list, we're actually gonna go back to back 2 as I was impressed with this one. I'm not a big fan of this color that I picked out, but that was my choice. This is the 2 d Tam and Look at that. So it's got just a little, it's got that carbon fiber finish, that look to it, the top and bottom, which a lot of these cases have. But one thing I liked about this one is it's got that texture on the edges. So it's got a lot of extra protection for the, or a lot of extra grip to it, I should say, for the sides that you're not getting on a lot of these type of cases because this is like a, like a smooth finish to it that doesn't add a lot of grip to it. But they did reinforce the edges with some extra grip on there. So that's a nice job to 2D with that. Again, I'm not a big fan of this color, but, and this one was compatible with a lot of the screen protectors that we tried out, or more compatible than some of them. Lip protection, some nice lip protection, and it doesn't a lot, add a lot of bulk. It's actually kind of minimal bulk, considering it's gonna give you some nice drop protection. See, nice lip protection. Alert slider is easy to get to, no problems there. Volume up and down, clicky responsive. All the ports look very nice and clean. And you just got a little, little 2D of branding at the bottom. The only thing I don't like about it is the color, but that was my choice. So that's number five on the list of the Big on, Bo Big on Box top 10 list for the OnePlus 5, the hit list. We'll see, yeah, we'll call that the hit list, guys. This one, I found this one is called Pelosi. And I got two different colors. I got the black one and I got the blue one. I like this one so much because it's very th super thin. It's just a very flexible material, but it's got that sandstone finish to it. I really like this because it's reminiscent of the official OnePlus 5 case that's got that sandstone, but it's edge to edge protection so it doesn't leave the top or bottom exposed. And it's just super lightweight, but that sandstone adds a nice grip to it as well. And what I remember this one, it didn't have hardly any bulk at all, so very minimal bulk. You're not getting much lip protection. You can see it's just very minimal, 
But if you're looking for a case that doesn't add, doesn't add hardly any bulk at all and looks nice, the only thing I don't like about this one, and I brought it up during the review, is you don't need to put all that on there, Pelosi. We don't need that. Just you know, They could have just left all that off and look very clean and nice and classy. And you can see the camera cutout's very flush, but it's still giving you some camera protection because of that little extra raisivity right there. So let's, you can see how it's raised right there. It's a little raised up just a little bit for the camera. So nice job there. Got some raised edges there. And again, alert slider is good to go, no problem at all. Buttons are clicky, cutouts look clean. I guess that was my only fault during the actual initial review was that it looks like trash. They could have just left that off. But I still will say that one's a hit. Let's put that number four. That might have been a surprise number four, but you know I do like minimal cases sometimes. Number three, this one I just reviewed probably a couple weeks ago, Caseology, and I like this one a lot, the Parallax series. It's a two-part case. I like the way that texture, that extra little texture it's got to it. And then you got a little branding up top, little logo right there. Looks very clean and classy. And plus, I just like the way that looks. So it's a two-part case. Just pop it right on. Getting some crazy lip protection all the way around the edge of the edge so nice protection the only thing i didn't like about this case and i remember is the alert slider's got sticks out just a little bit this part right here this piece of rubber sticks out a little too much so it makes it a little challenging to get your finger in and out of that alert slider but other than that this one's a definite hit buttons clicky responsive clean cut everything's clean again buttons are clicky and then you can see the added nice little touch right there the little extra grip on the sides. So the extra texture on the sides for a nice little extra grip. So nice job there. This one's definitely a hit, Caseology. All right, so we're down to the final two. And these probably, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys probably know these are probably in the top two, but you know, we'll put them out anyways. This one is the official silicone case. This one's number two on the list. I like the red a lot because that is a true red reminds me of exactly like the you know, the colors from one plus five that really bright vivid red got the little logo right there got a little black to act you know little accent for the camera and then i like the way that feels that inside very felt like it feels like it's going to be some nice protection the little added design by one plus five and this is going to be a minimalist case as well but I really like the way that looks. Not a crazy amount of lip protection. And the one thing I did, when I did the review, I don't, I'm don't. i not a big fan of having that completely open, the bottom open. I would like them to have that covered up. I just think it looks, well, I mean, it gives me more confidence if I drop it that it's actually gonna protect the case and protect the phone, I should say. But with that said, you do have some edges that are actually covered up a little bit. So again, not very much lip protection. Alert slider. Easy to get to, pretty buttons are clicky. Camera protection, I actually think this is some nice camera protection for a, such a thin case. So they did a nice job there. Give you guys a look at it. It's probably one of the, my favorite looking ones. Just looks very clean, classy with this phone. So especially with that black popping through. And then number one on the list, on the big hit list, gotta go with the official OnePlus 5 bumper. I've been a fan of this one from the get-go. Still my favorite one to this day. I just like, it looks so classy, so beautiful. That texture is gonna give you some nice grip to your phone. Got the OnePlus 5 logo right there. Inside, even the details on the inside look very nice. And it's got that rubber that feels like it's actually soft where it's not gonna ding up your phone. Got a little more OnePlus logo right there. Beautiful. This is my favorite case by far. And it, the best thing about this case, guys, or even the OnePlus 5 official cases, is the fact that they're mostly accessible with most screen protectors. And I'll show you guys why. Pop it into place. It's because you're getting some decent lip protection, but the way the actual lip, it goes out instead of cur curving in. So some of these screen protectors, 
they go so far to the edges that when you squeeze your phone or your case, it pops out the screen protector. You don't have that issue with this one because of the way that the edges are kind of just, they're lifted around it, but not like curving in. So that's probably one of the reasons why this one's more compatible with screen protectors. And it's definitely a, compatible with the official OnePlus 5 screen protector. And then look at it. So I think I still got one of these little skins on it, on the actual camera. And look at that, it looks beautiful. The black on black, OnePlus logo popping through. And it just feels good, it looks classy. Let me know what you guys think about your top 10 list. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time on the Big Unbox. We do it big, guys.